Hey everybody, it's Hello. Melissa and Randy from Chicks and Change, and we're here today to discuss our topic, Unwanted Hair. Here is our friend, Teresa Zock, Hi. who is going to be doing uh, Randy's little procedure this morning, and she's going to be able to tell everybody how to do a wax if you want to do it yourself, or she'll tell you, you know, maybe who can do it for you if you need to go somewhere else to have it done. Especially the men in your life that, um, you know, have a little nose hair as distractions and ear distraction hair. Yeah, how to, where they should go. Yes, because they do have unwanted hair too. And we're doing this here today at my salon, more than a wig. So she's got everything I'm all ready. set up. I'm gonna flip the camera around and she is going to go step by step and show you how to wax. Here we go, ladies Here we and go. gents. Good morning, everyone. I'm Teresa of More Than A Wig. Today, I'm going to be waxing Randy's forearm hair, as you will see here. The first step would be to have all of your supplies ready. I have witch hazel, talc powder, and removal cream conditioning soothing cream for after the wax all right so we're going to cleanse her arm with the witch hazel only where we're going to be applying the wax and that's just to clean it that is to, like to get oils that, that, off or whatever yes to cleanse it and make it more sanitary okay if there's any slight microbial bacteria on her arm it removes that before you apply the wax okay because what Waxing does, it not only removes the hair, but you have seven layers of epidermis, and the very top layer is the slough off skin cells. So we want to get that off so it's all clean and sanitized. Then we're gonna apply talc powder, which I usually put on the top of my hand here because you don't need that much. And then I kind of do like this. And, and you're what doing this, this on any area you ever wax. You're doing yes, the same exact yes, thing. Yes, exactly. Okay. Your eyebrows, your unwanted mustaches that we Ooh, have. Yes, sure, I do. Uh, bikini wax and other types as well. So now there is a layer of talc powder, which buffers the skin from the wax sticking to that, and the hair still raises up, and the wax will just rip the hair off. So you usually want it to be at a medium temperature. Too hot will burn you. Too cold is too tacky and sticky. It should be, I use the Gigi Honey Wax. You can get that at Sally's Beauty Supply. Any of these items you can get at Sally's. It should be the texture of honey. You can see if it kind of runs like honey, the, the, if you dip that in a, a honey jar. So you always apply the direction of the skin. Excuse me. I mean, the direction of the growth of the hair on the skin. So here's what we're gonna do. You apply a paper wax, waxing paper strip. And you get that at Sally's too? Yes, you do. And you kind of smooth it down taut on the skin just as you did the direction of the application of the wax. Pull the skin tight like so. And then you say, one, two, three, and you rip it off. It doesn't even hurt. It doesn't hurt, Randy? Not at all. And here you have some hair, unwanted hair. Um, oh, it sure is some unwanted hair. Mercy. Oh, oh we're gonna look, have to, we're there's gonna still have to, a little pile of unwanted I know, hair on the top. We're going to have to do just a little one more, one, two on that one. This is unwanted hair that I must say I've had even before the 50s. She had this when she was young and she said people made fun of her because she had hair on her arm. There, see the smoothness there now. I also had long, long hairs. They're, they're very thin now, but I had long hairs from middle school, raised by a single father. If I'd known now, known then what I know now, I would have asked him when he went to the barbershop if the, if the guys could have like at least clippered it off because kids would stare at my arm and I would kind of not want them to see it either. Oh, I never heard that story. I have a little story that I can tell while you're doing a little more wax on there. I had this friend and I asked her if I could tell this story because it is kind of funny. We're driving home 
from work one day. We used to work together. And um, I was looking at her, and the, the light just hit her just right. And I said, girl, you got like a piece of fuzz or something hanging over there on your chin. Oh, I reached no. over there and yanked that bad boy. And she jerked so bad that she hit the curb where we were turning in. And she didn't even realize she had that long thing. I don't even know how she couldn't see that thing. It had to have been an inch long. Is the, how's the temperature reading? The it's temperature wise. is wonderful. Good. Yes. I'm, I'm doing this only because the skin needs to be tight. Oh, you're pinching her under there? Yeah, kind of like you, have, mm -hmm. you want you want a smooth surface, but yeah. it, but if it's like this, or it it's not going to pull mm -hmm. as effective. It is getting smoother mm -hmm. by the second. Perfect. Is that all of it? No, not quite yet. And so, is this the, because you know everybody's going to ask, is this the type of wax job that you get, you know, like on poverty areas? Yes, it is. Exactly. Okay. Because, you know, some, a man, That's what did, we, a man did mention Klingons, you know what I'm saying? Well, let me uh, tell you, for, I, I suggest all men go to a licensed professional to be waxed. Mm -hmm. Um... They're, they they have all types of tools and uh, <laughs> <laughs> they have tools for men. <laughs> no, that, men like tools. <laughs> actually, actually, they uh, they may have different types of wax that work better in certain areas than others. I just uh -huh. use one wax because I I am licensed to do exposed skin waxing. Okay, what about the chicks that do like Brazilian stuff and all that? Do you want to say what that is? Would, do you do that or do they you send I, people somewhere? I send people for that. I do uh, eyebrows, lip, nose hairs, ear hairs, and forearms. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And that would be a licensed esthetician. Uh-huh. Uh, or now they have actually um, these little salons around town I've been seeing pop up everywhere. Hello, or Pretty Kitty. Oh, mm. I, think, oh. I think that is a waxing salon. I'm not sure. Pretty Kitty? Pretty, yeah, I think that's what that it's called. I mean kind of what it says? I think so. And there's one in Mockingbird Station here in Dallas. Oh, that my I've goodness. Heard of. Not far from here. Pretty Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are just, just about through here. Perfect. See. see, not painful, and it takes I, probably I, no I time. Want, and now compare arms, please. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah, totally different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Now, I'm going to do one time. last swipe on this one. Thank you for doing this with I was us gonna today, say, Teresa. Yes, I was going to say thank wonderful. you for coming to my salon and letting me be a part of this, Chicks and Change. I love it. And I'm, I'm a blogger as well. And I will ask everyone to join in. Check it out. Cool. It's a very nice, serene spa, especially for a treatment that you might be a little apprehensive about. Teresa makes it just lovely. Thank um, you, Randy. Do you need to, like, put out your phone number in case they want to come and get their hair did? Yes. Uh, more than a wig on Yelp. More than a wig dot com. Uh, Google it, and it'll bring you my address, phone number, and uh, I, I custom make my hours to the person's needs, so... I, I've worked six days a week before, seven days a week before. I've worked in the evenings and the morning. Some days I'll randomly take a day off in between. But I will always personally make your appointment. It will be me that answers the phone. So okay. thank you for being here today. And she's right down off of Lower Greenville, if you guys need to know that. And if you're right in town, it's very, very, very convenient. So, Although this blog may be in New York City, so we are in Dallas, Texas. Oh, correct. Mm -hmm. Got to think globally, not just locally. For sure, for sure. All right, and I So do. now you're cleaning yeah. her up? Yep. And there you go. Very calming, it. soothing. I don't have the red dots. I have had that as um, kind of a less calming outcome before. Mm -hmm. Not not with Teresa today. I mean, really, it has been seamless and wonderful. And Thank this is you. exactly the outcome that I, I was hoping for. To, I think the trick to eliminating and avoiding the redness and the rashes after a wax 
some people may be allergic to some of the soothing creams, and I have one client that could never be waxed. Uh, because it would just break her out and be blotchy. I would wax her chin. I mean, other people would wax it. She came to me. I used witch hazel before and after with no soothing cream. And she's just astounded and happy and thrilled wow. that she can come in and get waxed. Oh, cool. That's a good little tip for somebody. Exactly. Yay. So we've had a professional do some waxing. We think we may do another little show with me and Randy um, doing a not professional wax job to see if we can do it on our own or not so but we will be well versed because Teresa has given us a lot of hints and tips on what we can do to make our home waxing session a success and men don't try it at home do what Teresa said go see a professional seek a licensed seek a licensed esthetician mm -hmm. there you go. thank you there you go Okay, Miss Randy. Bye-bye. See you next time, people.